Hey everybody, Ryan here, going to talk to you about one of my favorite collectible card games, customizable card games, trading card games, whatever you want to call it, from way back in the day. Uh, back in the day, 94, 95, I got into Illuminati, New World Order, by Steve Jackson Games. And uh, what you see before you is a factory sealed starter set. Came two 55 card packs, decks per box. And there's that, so you can see. And I also have an unlimited version of that, so you can check out the part number there. And so the way, so this game, um, everybody back in 94, 95, the golden age of collectible card games, everybody was getting into making theirs. And this is Steve Jackson's. I believe this was their first million dollar game for them. Of course, now they're big into Munchkin and all that stuff, and this is their um, customizable, collectible, whatever you want to call it, card game for Illuminati, uh, it's supposed to do in the box set. Uh, the first set that was released was their limited edition, followed by unlimited edition, followed by the Assassin's Expansion and the Church of the Subgenius. I do not have any Church of the Subgenius. I do not have the one with everything. That's where they reprinted one of every card from the base set in one box set, um, but I do have a pretty complete collection of the base set, unlimited and limited, it's all mixed in one binder. Um, and I got a couple of the uh, promos, like uh, convenience stores, I believe it's a promo, trading card, excuse me, pyramid marketing schemes, promo, trading card games is a promo, and there were two other promos. Um, the Assassin's uh, expansion released the super rares, or uber rares or whatever you want to call them. I believe those were one per box or one per every ten packs, I forget. Um, but the way this game worked was you met your goal, you eliminated the other Illuminati by taking their people, um, or so let's see, what, what the, let's read the rule book. The object of Illuminati is to control the world. So you may win by controlling enough groups or fulfilling a special goal of your own or by meeting objectives of a goal card, or by destroying all of your foes. So each one of these Illuminati cards, this is from the Assassin's Expansion, and these are um, six of the nine other Illuminatis. Let's move these out of the way. We'll be talking about this at 100 subs, everybody. Um, so let's look at some of these goals. So the Assassins, Secret Society of Assassins, any secret group counts double towards your total number of groups controlled. as long as none of your rivals control a secret group with more power. So the object here is to control groups, and let's go to my stack of cards, with that were secret. So there are a couple types of cards. First, we'll talk about groups. Let's get that out of the way. Groups. Groups like the Ditto Heads. This is an Assassin's uh, expansion card. It is Fanatic. Down there at the bottom, you see it says Fanatic forget what the star means. Then you have this one, swingers. They're weird and liberal. The opposite of weird was straight. The opposite of liberal was conservative. And you have the Lama Rama Ding Dong. He's a personality. See that in the top left? He's peaceful. Opposite of peaceful was violent. Opposite of corporate, I forget. See if I can find that for you. But anyway, you get the idea. You got your power, your resistance. He also had another attribute. He was green. There. Let's see. Got the green party. So you can see it's very political, very in-your-face um, world. So you have the Church of Vientology. Play on the Church of... Get it? Let's see. The opposite of corporate was government. So, anyway, so you got your daycare centers. Uh, this, I'll, I'll go through some of the other cards. Um, ah, here we go. Here's a good one. Ted Kennedy from the Assassins. They also had Bill Clinton, George Bush, Hillary, Reagan, Nancy, all the all the people in there, and the art played on each other. So, anyway, those are groups, and those go into um, I forget the name of the deck that you you called it, but. Uh, you know, Dynasty and Fate from Legend of the Five Rings of Two. This is a two deck game, so you have all your groups in one deck and all of your plots and other things. 
in another deck. And you can see how it has the Puppet Master theme going on for it. Um, let's see what else. Another type of group, if you will, were resources. Uh, so here we got Lennon's Body, Gorgon Grinder, Killer satellite. All these things did uh, things in the game. The game is not balanced on purpose. Uh, it is not designed to be fair. Uh, so if you have a killer combo, go for it. <laughs> and, oh, there we go. The big prawn. Prawn. Excuse me. So those are your two types of groups and resources. I believe there was another group resource. I'm forgetting one. Anyway. Um, then you did things through plots, and these are plot cards. They're blue, and they have the master hand and way, ways to do things. And your new order, you can only have one of these out at a time. This is replaces a yellow one. See, yellow new world order. Uh, let's see. The sun shining, partition, pizza for the secret meeting. Let's see. So there's a lot of uh, subtle humor here. Um, yes, I do have a Pentagon, and yes, I do have a Terrace Nuke in my collection. So um, take a look at those on eBay. I'll, I'll do another follow-up video to this one. This is just a short video of uh, Illuminati. Um, great card game. I have asked several times for a reprint from Steve Jackson Games. So Steve Jackson Games, please reprint Illuminati. Maybe do like an LCG format. I would buy everything printed from Illuminati if it was released again. Um, it desperately needs a reprint. Uh, do a Kickstarter, and uh, yeah, I'll support that. Um, that's a, it's a good game, and uh, I hope you liked the video. But yeah, we'll, we'll look at some more of my Illuminati cards uh, later. But uh, that, that's an unlimited rule book, and then there's the limited, yep, sealed, factory sealed, haven't opened it actually bought that recently. <laughs> Didn't pay too much for it, so I like it. But anyway, this is Illuminati. Um, it does not use mana. It actually uses... Anyway, let's let's talk about playing how to play it different in a different video. Anyway, like, subscribe. At 100 subscribers, we'll be, be, we will be addressing this um, and what's inside. And um, yes, I got it for free. But as you can see, it's not quite right. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll show you some more Illuminati cards later.